Hey Bethlehem, hope you're doing well and hope you're staying safe just like me. I want to talk for a minute about what we're doing as a church during this time when we can't physically be together. And when we look into scripture, we find out that church never was about the building, but about the people being united in their love for God and their service for Him. And so what we're doing doesn't change and our mission doesn't change. We still want to love, grow, and serve even in this time of crisis. And so the way we're doing that first is by offering live services where there's people who are here to connect with you, talk with you, and pray with you live in real time. We don't want you to sign on and just watch service. We want you to engage and be able to talk to somebody and do real ministry in real time. And so when you watch, you can watch on Facebook Live, on YouTube Live, or through our live stream on our website and our app. And when you come in, you can talk and engage with one another on what's going on. When Pastor Steve says something that's a great point, you can write in the chat, amen. You can be there and further his point. You can say something that inspires and motivates the people around you. We want to engage and we want people to know that they're not alone in this. Even though we're physically apart from one another, we are all signing on, we are all watching, and we're all united in our mission and in what's going on in our church. And so we can do that through the chat, either on Facebook, comment right in the comment section, on YouTube, same thing, right in the comment section, and on our app or website, you can go to the chat box and you can talk to other people who are watching service along with you. At the same time, we're offering live prayer. Right under the chat box on our, on our website, you will see a button for live prayer where one of our hosts can engage you and they can pray with you live right there over text. Same thing for Facebook. If you write in your comment section uh, that you want prayer, we will direct message you from the Bethlehem account and we will be able to pray with you right there over text. But we also know that some people just need to engage God a little bit differently and they need someone to call them and we can pray with you that way as well. And so in the comment section on Facebook and on YouTube, you'll see a pinned comment uh, right there on top and it will say to, to get someone to pray and call you now. You can fill out this form. That goes directly to our prayer counselors and they would love to call you and pray with you live. If you're on our website or on the app, uh, you will see that in our connection area, in our notes area, you'll see a link for that. And we, uh, from time to time during service, we'll put a link on the bottom of the screen that you can press right on. It'll take you to that form. When you fill it out, one of our prayer counselors will call you. We wanna be able to engage you. We wanna be able to pray for you in your need right now during times of crisis. The next thing we're doing to love is to love one another. And so we do that through our one groups. One groups are continuing to meet even without being physically together. We get to use the technology that's available to us and meet uh, on video calls like Zoom, Google Hangouts, or even FaceTime. We can meet one another, we can talk about the things in our lives, we can pray for one another, uh, all through One Groups. And so if you want more information on that, head over to our website, go to the One Group tab, and you will find out everything you need to know on how to get plugged in with other people who are going through some bad situations just like you. The next thing we wanna do is grow. And we do that in a couple of ways. One, Grow You, which is about to start up for this semester. And secondly, every night we are streaming prayer so that we can come together and grow spiritually together. So we stream our prayer through YouTube. If you sign on every night at 8 p.m., you will see a prayer happening that you can engage in, you can pray along with, and you can continue to grow in that way. And finally, we wanna serve. When we serve as the church, we make other people aware of who Jesus is and how powerful of a testimony he's given us. And so we can continue to do that even when it doesn't feel like we can. We just have to be a little more creative. So you can serve people you know just by reaching out, by being there emotionally for them, by encouraging them in hard times like this. The other way is you can engage with us on online ministry. You can come and say, I'd love to host a service. I'd love to engage people as they enter our service live. I'd love to pray for people. And the last way is by being a volunteer at the House of Hope. We get to engage our community by meeting their practical needs, giving them food, cleaning supplies, uh, supplies for babies. We get to meet needs of people during this time of chaos and fear, and that goes to further the gospel uh, so much. And you can serve for any of these ways by just filling out the connection card. 
If you go over to our connections tab, you will see there uh, an opportunity where you can fill out your information. You can put why you're contacting us. If you're new here, we want to greet you. We want to give you information about how to stay connected in your next steps. If you want to serve, just fill in that you want to serve there and we'll get back to you on how you can serve with us. This is all the ways that we can love, grow, and serve. And the last thing I want to encourage you to do is to stay connected. It's very, very difficult to reach people during this time, but there's things you can do to stay connected in what we're doing as a church. And so the first and easiest way is for critical updates, join our text alerts. Right now, take out your phone and just type Bethlehem uh, into the chat box and send that to 55469. Again, take your phone out, send a text that says Bethlehem to 55469. That will sign you up for our text alerts and we will be able to get critical information to you right to your phone. The next way is to join us and follow us on social media. Check out our Facebook and check out our Instagram. We keep it updated and we try to tell you everything that's going on as it's coming. There's some things that we're not gonna inundate you with, with text directly to your phone, but there's things happening around the church that you wanna be aware of. And so social media is the place where you can find out everything that's going on. And if you're not into the social media, you can always check our app or website. We keep our What's Happening page up to date. We want to let you know what's going on around the church so that you can stay connected and you can get involved. When you go onto our church website, you'll see the first thing that pops up on top is what are we doing now for the Bethlehem Online page. Instead of updating every ministry uh, throughout our entire website, we have one page where you can find all the details of all the ministries that continue to meet now while we can't be physically in person. So we know kids, youth, young adult ministries, Grow University, prayer, is all happening. You can find exactly how to get involved all through that one page on our website or in the app. So if you sign up there, if you go on there, check it out. As ministries continue to figure out how to do ministry in this time, it will be added to that page. So continue to check that out and stay updated with us. For now, that's it for me. I hope you enjoy the rest of service and continue to stay safe, wear your mask in public.